Web news wake up call. Yeah, that's right. It's time for your web news wake up call. 90 seconds of internet haps you can enjoy while brushing your teeth. Although I think you're supposed to like brush your teeth for two minutes, but start now. All right, first up, Yahoo chairman Roy Boystock and three longtime board members are stepping down, submitting to the demands of many pissed off shareholders who blame them for dragging down the company's revenue and stock price. You know what? I don't blame those shareholders. If I'm still using Yahoo as an email address, you know the company is doing something wrong. Next up, the internet may be fun, but apparently it is not to be trusted. A new survey from Pew Research says cable news is most frequently cited as a regular source of political campaign news. Meanwhile, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook were at the bottom of the list. And that might explain why I'm the only person who follows Rand Paul Heart Shocker, to wa Heart Shocker Watch on Twitter. I'm an idiot. And finally, hacktivist group Anonymous leaked hundreds of office emails by Syria's embattled president, but it turns out a fifth grader could have hacked into this guy's account. Why? Because his password is 12345. What do you think is a better password for a bad guy? Hit us up on Facebook at iOpenerTV. Well, let's get a check on your local haps.